That is where I made a really, really big mistake. Howdy folks, today we are playing some more Tap Sports Baseball. It should be a little bit of a shorter video, but I wanna talk a little bit about building your legend character. It's not an incredibly pivotal part of the game, but it can be really helpful early on. And really this is more giving you some tips on what not to do because uh, I made a pretty big mistake when I made mine and I don't want to see you make that same mistake so let's just get right into it. So if you come over to team and then you come over to my legend you can actually create your legend right here. If you haven't made one yet it'll ask you to create it and obviously if you have one this is where you can upgrade your legend player and everything like that. I have Art Vandalay the industry of course. Whenever you're creating your legend you're going to have the option to set up his position and what kind of hitter you want and that sort of stuff. But the biggest thing that you're going to need to focus on is position. The thing about your legend character is that whenever you make your legend character, you're not going to be able to change the position or anything like that. So you can move him to playing that spot, you can put him in the DH spot, or you can have him inactive, but you're not gonna be able to switch from say a first baseman to an outfielder, right? Once you pick that position, uh, you're pretty much stuck with it. That is where I made a really, really big mistake. So as you can see, if I go back to manage, I made him a second baseman. The reason that I did this is because as I was sort of starting my team, I didn't have a second baseman, so I just said, all right, screw it, let's make one. But that was actually a pretty big mistake. If you watched my earlier video, we were kind of looking for a shortstop, we were looking for some starting pitchers, but shortstop was the one position that I didn't have. Meanwhile, I had a couple other second basemen that were pretty good. The reason for that is because I made my legend before I was sort of really rounding out my team. So I needed a second baseman at the time and I needed a shortstop. And I said, well, I guess I'll just make him a second baseman. I didn't really have any other reason, but obviously that was a pretty bad decision because then I had multiple second basemen and I had no shortstop. I want to let you know that if you're interested in Tab Sports Baseball and if you're going to be playing along this year, feel free to subscribe. I will be playing hopefully all year long and I'm going to be posting some updates about my team. I'm going to be doing some challenges and doing some little informational videos like this. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you like playing Tab Sports Baseball, uh, join along and play along with me and let me know how your team is doing and what you're liking about the game and what players you're pulling because I just like being able to connect and learn a little bit more about other people's experiences with this game. So uh, feel free to subscribe if you're interested. Now, like I said, the legend character can be important and cannot be. It just depends on how you want to play the game. I personally really enjoy pulling the packs and getting those new players in there pretty frequently. It's helpful too to use those pulled players because the thing about the legend characters is that it takes a lot of cash and experience to upgrade this player. Now it's an important thing to note that you can hit the reset button here and you can actually restart your legend character. Now that can be useful to you if you feel like you really screw this up and you're super desperate for a position, you can reset that. But just keep in mind that if you do that, you're gonna have to rebuild all of the experience. And it is pretty expensive, like I just mentioned. So just keep that in mind. It might be a possibility and it might be helpful to you. But if you don't have a ton of experience or cash, you definitely, definitely should be cognizant of that before you go and reset that character. The other thing that's probably important to note about this year that's different from years past is that there's a new feature for your legend character called gear. Now, if you pull up the information, basically it's just gonna tell you that whenever you get gear, um, there are packs that will give you gear, there are certain promotions that'll give you gear. You can actually put this gear on the player and it just gives upgrades. If you get that kind of stuff, put that on there. Use that gear because it'll be really helpful for you. I don't have any yet, so I can't attest to its efficacy or anything like that. But if you get some of that stuff, definitely throw that on there though. It probably will be quite helpful. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have any, so my legend looks like a milkman. That's pretty much all I have for you today on the My Legend character. Shorter video today, but I just wanted to bring it up to your attention so that you can avoid the pitfalls that I fell into. So if you enjoyed the video, like I said, subscribe, join me in playing TSB for the rest of this year. Let me know how your team is doing, what positions you have, uh, what positions need filled, that sort of stuff. So uh, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you again later.